Did you know that you have the ability to set standard content for the description of your YouTube videos so that when you upload a new video, you do not need to be posting the same thing every time or copy and pasting and importing it in every single time. It will automatically pop up for you and then you can just add whatever you need to at the top or throughout the context of the description of your video. Let me show you how to do that. When you're in studio.youtube.com, you're going to go to the left hand side and down to settings on your toolbar. From there, you are then going to be able to click on upload defaults. Now, this is where you get to input content that will show up every time you upload a video via your desktop. So it has the basic info, advanced settings, monetization, all of that information. If you have consistent titles that you use for all of your videos, you can put that in here. I do not. I don't think most creators would. So I leave that blank, but it gives you the option of putting in those titles if you desire to do so. Description is where we actually want to look. So you can see how I actually have description with my affiliate links, links to my products and my services and my website. I've got all the information, including my hashtags that I want to show up in every single video. Then from there, when I upload a video, all I have to do is just add in the couple of sentences at the top. On um, one of my other channels, I actually have it so that it has a default line right there so that it divides my sentences from the rest of the information that I'm putting out there. And all I have to do, because I've put it in here once, is to then go in and change things if needed. So let's say I have a different hashtag I want to use, then I would just scroll down and be able to change that. You can also, while you're here, select your visibility so you can make all of them automatically public automatically private, automatically unlisted, and then you can go in and change that as needed. You can also add in your hashtags. Now, keep in mind with your tags or the hashtags as I call them, you are not getting as much bang for your buck with tags. Tags are things that they have come out to say don't actually matter. So if you have specific tags that associate with your channel, by all means, put them in here. But tags are not something that you absolutely need in your videos. In fact, I have not been doing tags for a really long time and it has not affected my monetization at all because tags are no longer as relevant. They just give it to you kind of as a feel good way of putting in extra information. Now you can, of course, click on your advanced settings where you can deal with your licensure and your categories, your languages. You can deal with your comments. So holding potentially inappropriate comments or allowing them all or all of them going to review. So you don't have to manually set it for each video. And you can kind of see how you go down and you want to make sure that you are dealing with your paid promotions. Um, so if you're saying most of them contain it, most of them don't contain it, or you want to individually do them for each of your videos, you can do that there. You can also deal with your monetization. So if you only want certain ad types, you can can dictate that here and then change it on individual videos if you need to, rather than having to set it every single time. I have everything ready to go on mine. When you're done, you're just going to click that save button so that you can have that automatically populate in your videos. So then if you go to any of your videos, as you are uploading them through the desktop, you are just going to be able to see how this was automatically all here. I came in and just added this section to it. And then I can go through and I can change whatever I need to with that. If I need to do something then I just have to deal with my playlist. Um, I've said that most of my videos are not for kids, so I can change that if needed. It's got my promotional content here if that's something that's associated with a video. And I can set, of course, my end screens and my my um associated cards and I can do my languages and I can put on my visibility and all those things as I normally would within the videos that I am creating. So this is a really easy way for you just to create content that will always auto populate when you upload these videos. Keep in mind, it does not auto populate that if you're uploading from your mobile. So if you are uploading shorts from your phone, this does not automatically pop up. You will have to copy and paste it and import it there. But if you upload the shorts from the desktop, it will auto populate that. And so that just saves you a bunch of time and effort if you have consistent things, again, with your links, your social media links, your affiliate links, any disclaimers you have to add. It doesn't have to be long like mine. It can be short. It can be just a little bit of information, whatever works best for you. But if you have things that are consistently showing up like disclaimers of affiliate links and things like that, this saves you time and effort and a lot of stress on that as well. So I always know that content will be there. And then I just have to jump up a little bit higher type in the topic information or the things that people are searching on Google, and I am good to go with those videos. Questions is go ahead and drop it down below and follow along for more YouTube features that will help save time and effort with your content creation so that you can make a profitable business that works on your behalf while you're off living your best life because your business is working on your behalf. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.